Hi, I'm that 3D guy, Al Cadulo, and I'm going to show you a fantastic new program that makes Adobe After Effects CS4 a 3D engine for cranking out beautiful 3D videos. Spatial View has created a plugin for After Effects that makes creating 3D a video joy. Now, I'm going to take you through the process step by step just to show you how easy it is to create 3D videos. Let's take a look at what tools that we will use for this demonstration. First of all, you're going to need Adobe Production Premium, either CS3 or CS4, the SVI 3D Editor from Spatial View, and Smart Sound Sonic Fire Pro for some really cool audio. The first step is to go to Spatial View's website and download the 14-day free trial of SVI 3D Editor for After Effects. Next, you're going to import your footage into After Effects and edit it as you normally would. If you have 3D footage, then you need to edit both layers at the same time and make sure they're in sync. For this demo, I'm going to create an opening segment for our website, 3dguy.tv. I've used our opening video, which is a 3D graphics shot in 2D. Then, I added several separate layers. First, a special effects 3D target sequence where 3dguy.tv explodes. A still graphic of 3dguy.tv and 3D stars target sequence and, of course, the Explore World TV logo. So, once I open After Effects, we add our content and we start to arrange them in our composition. The single layer of background video needs to be renamed with a BG at the beginning. Then, I'm going to add and arrange our elements in a way that I'll wind up needing them. You will have to have a plan for what you want your sequence to overall look like. So, I'm going to add the 3D graphic twice, and then I'm going to also add the 3D exploding graphic twice. To one of these exploding graphics, I'm going to use After Effects, right-click on it, and apply a time reverse effect. Now, I have the finished basic layout and structure. 3dguy.tv will appear first as a still, then it will explode, and then it's going to reassemble itself and stay on the screen as a still. With that done, I check the 3D for each layer. I'm going to add a drop shadow to the graphics to add a better feeling of depth to the video. Now, the next step in the process is to arrange our elements in depth order. To do this, you can adjust several things. First, the Z position, also the Y rotation. Once these elements and adjustments are made, we'll move on, and I'll come back to them later on and fine-tune them in the process. Now I'm going to right-click here and create a new adjustment layer. That's where we click and add the Spatial View SVI 3D to Stereo plugin. Now the real fun begins. Once the plugin is applied, the effects control panel appears, and we get a message that the number of views in our composition doesn't fit the camera count. This is normal. Click OK and go to the Update Composition, click Once box, and, well, click it. Then you're going to get your first glimpse of some pretty awful red cyan anaglyph. By the way, if you don't have red cyan glasses, go to our website and we have a link where you can get a free pair sent to you. It looks bad now at this point because you haven't made any adjustment to the newly created layers. In the effects control for the adjustment layer, you can select the stereo mode. Spatial View gives you choice of nine different modes. They include three varieties of anaglyph, side-by-side -side full or half, top-bottom full or half, and two modes for SVI's line of auto stereoscopic monitors. Those are the ones where you don't need 3D glasses. I'm going to use the good old red cyan anaglyph mode. Now I know that you think this is the red-headed stepson of 3D, but the fact is, if the 3D is done right, it is good 3D, and this format can look great. Here's a rule of thumb to live by for 3D. If you're looking at a 3D movie at home and it hurts your eyes, it's because they shot it and didn't readjust it based on the size of the movie screen. When you're doing 3D video shooting, you do make certain adjustments based on the size of your screen. So, therefore, when it's changed over to use for home use, it needs to be adjusted. If that hasn't happened, it's not going to be good 3D. Now that said, let's move on. The stereo parameters section, you can set your camera alignment for your choice of either linear, circular, or parallel. 
you can go to our website for more explanation about any of these terms and others that are in this video. You can also adjust the near plane distance or negative parallax. That's the part of the picture that comes towards you and jumps off the screen. The screen projection plane or screen plane and the far plane distance or the positive parallax which is the part of the video that goes furthest back in the screen. Notice as I adjust the near plane distance to the 3D image it comes more and more into alignment. This adjustment is governed by where you position the title in the Z space. So this adjustment should not be more than the Z position of the title. In setting these elements up, I want you to enhance the sense of depth. This will create a better 3D experience. Now I'm going to do a few things here. I'm going to slightly oversize the background so that you don't see the edges of our 3D creation. Also, I'm going to angle it. With a 2D background image, you can help the 3D of it by doing this. I'm also going to adjust and angle the rest of the elements and create some movement and keyframing to keep some action going in the shot, but not overdo it. Finally, after reviewing it, I decided to add these stars falling through the background. Here you see the final image. Now I did all this in anaglyph mode and I checked it out using my red cyan glasses. I also did some final checking on my Zalman Trimon 3D 22 inch LCD monitor using the side by side half format. This monitor is a great way to view your projects and it uses a circular polarized system. As you can see, the glasses look like sunglasses. I'll have a review of this monitor and hope to bring you a review of the SVI and IZ3D monitors soon as well. The final version of this video can be seen on our website as well as on the new YouTube system for 3D. Thanks for watching and may all your 3D be good 3D.